stuff and that book was the first one that they saw you know published to try to picture Africa was that way mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it was trying to pay that it was trying to justify slavery that's my point it was saying okay. they were heathens because you saw how you you saw how you was reading it right you know yeah. they, they they talk about the people easily get their wives up uh, uh, for hospitality Mm -hmm. uh, they 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 use the bathroom and pull it out like the same as a horse pulls his out, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. They live in huts or, or holes in the ground because they basically those huts they were built were built by mud mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But that that was not that was just a small portion of a of Africa. And like I said, if I, I wanted to look up that, and maybe I do it next time, is show how far the Moors, which were Negroes, <laughs> that's where that Negro came from, uh, pushed into you. And that's they why, were, I showed, yeah, armor. They were conquerors. Huh? They were conquerors. Yeah. They I were, mean, you talk about Hannibal, one of the greatest generals that that would do. When a black man, he used elephants in his warfare. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I think we're in America. We fell for the propaganda because we, we did. Were, That's we what did. Meant. it was. Propaganda. It was a total propaganda. It was a lie. It was a big lie. And it and it painted and it painted a good picture because I'm saying is, when I was ten or something like that. All I don't think about is Tarzan. <laughs> and, and, and that's that's a vis that's the whatever you saw dealing with Tarzan. Even Tarzan walking around with a shorts on and no shirt on and stuff, right? That's what I was thinking about Africa. <laughs> it's right. so funny because Africa is a gigantic continent. It's a it's huge, huge continent. <laughs> if you think about Africa, so like, okay, well, the Africans are like this. Which one of them? I mean, how, how many nations are actually on this continent, you know? They got over 250 uh, languages? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and then the other piece was that the, so I'm just saying there was modern civilizations, just like today, even back then, there were modern civilizations in that cut, in that region of the world. Yeah. But we view you know, let me, let me go back. Huh? Yeah, I just, want to, I just want to go back to what, uh, uh, elder said about um, we bought into the propaganda. You know that old saying: "You don't know what you don't know." You don't and know, yeah. You you know whatever information comes our way, you know that's just what we take. And you you know the you write the propaganda machine, if you will, for lack of a better term, was uh, very effective because yeah. Yeah. It, it has actually uh, clouded everyone's mind. And I say that because as I'm listening to both of you, I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, with all of the, um, the accomplishments, the greatness, the science, the, the uh, just the everything, you know, yeah. that uh, happened in the past, right? The the absence of knowing about it in 2020, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have all of these historians that are out there that have yet to really do a a, a an effective job of create of correcting that history, yeah. and that, that even the fundamental aspect of it. Because when we look at uh, history books, and and there's matter of fact, it was just in TV this uh, earlier this week about the, the history books that are still just talking American history yeah. now. Yeah. The, the, the the wording and and the absence of of uh, True. information yeah. as as you know, put out a, a, the, the, the incorrect uh, perspective on what has happened in the country. Yeah. So when we think about all those great nations, all of the history, all of the, matter of fact, the, his, the history of the Bible, who, who you got to think about, it, who, who is that about? <laughs> right? It's people of color. <laughs> if we look at, it, but, and, but if we look at Hollywood, 
um, <laughs> you don't you don't see that. You may yeah. see one, or uh, you know, you may see a token black person <laughs> in there. And and I don't mean that to disparage anyone, <laughs> yeah, but well, that is exactly what it does, though, because what it yeah. does is it, 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 it's like, well, where when did we show up? Yeah. You know, when in all actuality, we've been there from the beginning. Exactly. Dominant, really. You know, <laughs> and, then, and then the other thing is, is so how, again, because yeah, it's, 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 it's making me curious. So now how did this flip in such a tremendous way? Whereas our history is at least on, on this continent in North America, yeah. there's nowhere to be found. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, we're constantly turning the page and saying, oh, wow. You know, boom, boom. Oh, wow. Matter of fact, I was in Books a Million yesterday and there was a book. I didn't buy it, but I almost did. But it said, you know, the 4,000 historical firsts by um, black people. Yeah. Right. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, and uh, the thing is, is we do ourselves uh, a service if we correct these things. And, and I'm glad Elder kind of said it the way that he said it. We bought into it. So yeah. I would say even to the folks who have their doctoral degrees and master's degrees and, and want to get into history, listen, um, do proper research. Don't just say, you know, because what we tend to do is find information that complements, goes along with what we want to believe, exactly. and then we go and shoot out there with that. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there that, uh, that we're still missing. Right. And so, uh, and I'm not knocking them either because again, you don't know what you don't know. But we gotta, you, you know, we we gotta do a better job. And and, uh, and then you guys have kind of piqued my interest um, right now. I'm about to probably yeah. go out and meet, buy a couple more books. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the great even one with the uh, Black Wall Street. You know, we we didn't know that there were uh, Black Wall Street communities that were thriving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Business-wise, uh, you had dinners, you had doctors, you had, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and then the history is definitely not known. Even Trump said himself, he said the uh, the bombing and the destruction of that place, yes, Black Wall Street, it's not in the history books. Is it? Well, you know, it's not in the, it's not taught or uh, included in the history books. Yeah, a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. Did y'all, I don't know if y'all caught it, the, they were making an issue about what had happened. Hey, brother. Like you said, it's, it's, the, it's just what we're exposed to. And, and the sad thing about it is that the people who really have the, uh, the issue of visualizing a group of people, they, they're going by this lack of information about where these people came from, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know I th go ahead. It's a necessity to get to the root because if we don't get to the root, you're going to have some issues. And there's always going to be a distortion. The, yeah. One of the questions that I have is, you know, how do we get here in the first place? Oh, and we know how we got there. We look, we look at scripture, we look at scripture sometimes, and it almost like it's preordained. I know this might be a misinterpretation or, 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 or expanded interpretation. But when we talk about the running of the four horsemen in, yeah. in, in Revelation, the first horseman was a white horse. And it said it was given to him a bow and a crown, and he was sent forth conquering and to conquer. Did our white brothers do that? When in Constantinople, when Emperor Constantine, I mean, when Emperor Constantine adopted the Christian religion, they literally did propagate the gospel. Yeah. Underneath that flag, underneath that flag, he said it was given a flag with a cross, and it said fight under this. Yeah. If that was the extent of the of the scriptures that they knew, they weren't doing anything what they considered to be wrong. They thought they were in alignment. They were supposed to propagate the gospel through warfare, and they yeah. did. It yeah. happened. The second one was a red horse. The next one was a black horse, and then the last one was this pale horse, Donald Trump. I'm on the <laughs> So the rapture is about to take place. Yeah, but, but, yeah. No, don't say that to them. Well, you you remember that one? Uh, uh, what was it the manifest destiny that our white brothers thought it was their divine destiny to conquer this landmass? Well, you and know, they went forth doing it. And I do want to, I want to put a little balance on there too. I just want to just throw it in there, y'all. The, the uh, 
you I don't know if you saw the article Brother Jackson was reading. That was the conquest into the West, basically West, the West Coast. But if you if you look at the history of man, the the if you take Europe first, the good example, they were doing conquering. That's what they did. You know, but, the, the biblical but I time want to say, that, say that same thing was happening in Africa, China. Uh, you know, like David, you saw David, the Philistines were always fighting. There uh, was a season when kings went to war. Yeah. The, and David I mean, was back at the palace watching Bathsheba. <laughs> if, if, if you look at the uh, going to the promised land, that was a conquest. Yes, out of the extreme. They, they committed genocide on those tribes, man. Right. They told them yeah. to wipe them out. <laughs> right. right. So that was a conquest. So what I'm saying is, is, is I, it's not just based on you know a particular race, Brother Jackson. This was typical of, of nations going to war among each other. But, but this is what but, I want to say. Pastor Taylor, wasn't it also typical that when you conquer somebody, you erase their history? Didn't, didn't they do that as a norm? Didn't they just go in? If you lost the fight, they would erase your history. They, yeah, they displaced they, the Jews. They'll they, they take you out. Cause yeah. remember, you remember like uh, 70 AD when Rome took uh, Israel? They changed it to Palestine. And they took all the people out of it. They took all the Jews out of Palestine. It made it, you know, called it Palestine. That's what you got the Palestinians today because that's what was on the map in the 1930s, all the way to 1948. There was no Israel on the map. You know? there, the, the, I think one of the basic, it, it demonstrated that the basic nature of the fallen man, of basic nature man, of man that's what I'm war, saying. Warfare, right. to kill, right. to murder one another, to take it, to, to overthrow each other, to right. dominate you know one I, another. And, and, and that's you. why I was, that's why I want to make sure Nobody want, nobody want to, I don't want to temper it to say, you know, whites only. You know what I mean, Brother Jackson? Yeah, I do. It, it, it was, it was and then, as a matter of fact, I do want to put in there, if you look at the history, I was talking to a guy who came from Africa, and he's a, now a U.S. citizen. He was saying, Brother Jackson, it was the Africans selling them, selling people. Right. When they cook, took over land or property or something like that, they were just, they basically were doing the same thing England was doing with Australia. They were sending people to Illinois or undesirable to, to Australia. Remember that? They, yeah. they, they were just getting rid of them. And in this case, the Africans were selling your ancestors. And they didn't care what atrocities were going on with them, you know. Father, they were saying they didn't care. They say either we should, could have killed them. We do them a favor by selling them. Mm -hmm. And they sell the criminals. If you did an offense, they sold you to slavery. Um, it was it was just it's just man. You know what I mean? It's, 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 but the, the point about the books I was showing you was they were they were writing all the way up to this time now, psychologically, people that had no history of civilization, you know in culture but the moors the pictures i was showing you earlier you see that 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 was back in those days yeah that was back in the time of columbus and all of them they knew civilizations were there you know well, but you they know were, what, go ahead what uh i've always wondered uh, and, and and wanted to do was instead of always taking history from yeah. my perspective here in the United States yes. was to look at it from the viewpoint of Europe, look at it from the viewpoint of Africa, look at it from the viewpoint of Australia. Uh, the Middle because, East. Yeah. you know, we're not the only ones, we don't have the market on <laughs> written text, right. you know. So what are they actually saying? Now, I do admit that, they, you know, a lot of their writings, depending on where you go, are also um, filtered. Yeah. But somewhere, just like what we have here in the United States.